Hey everybody, it's Pete from MyJuryBench.com and today I want to talk to you a little bit about a problem that uh, arose with a few with a new version of Blender. Blender 2.93.1 and newer seems to have a problem working with the simple asset manager that uh, I recommended as a third party download add-on for Blender to browse the Blender Gems library. One of the most important parts of this whole thing is that if you are currently using a version of Blender Gems library that you've already previously downloaded, you'll have to log into BlenderGems.com with your account and re-download uh, Blender Gems library. It's also going to be a very large file. It is now 1.4 gigabytes of data. And the reason you'll need to download it is because you'll need to have the new file formats uh, loaded onto your computer. Now, if you are using an older version of Blender, and you are gonna to continue to use the asset, the Simple Asset Manager, you don't have to worry about that. However, in the future versions of Blender where Simple Asset Manager doesn't work, um, this is the solution for it. So again, you'll have to re-download the file. It is 1.4 gigabytes, so just be patient with the download. So I've come up with a solution that might work well for most of you, and you have a couple options with that add-on. It is available for free, and there is also a paid professional version. And if you are into 3D modeling, I'd probably recommend getting the add-on. But I'm gonna walk you through the problem that I'm having with the uh, Simple Asset Manager. So if you've installed the Simple Asset Manager uh, to work with Blender Gems, remember it is a third-party product. I, don't write, I didn't write that software. It is an add-on that's been available for quite some time. Unfortunately, it looks like the uh, the author of that program has uh, discontinued support for that um, and any version of Blender greater than 2.93.0. So here's what happens. You go over to your tool menu where the simple asset manager is, and I'm just going to uh, turn on my screencast keys. Not that I'll need them for this, but I'm going to come over here to where it says simple asset manager and typically there would be a box there showing you what the uh, objects are in there now if we hit the search button you can see we can browse a couple things here but it doesn't give us any of the models in our folders so with that problem occurring with simple asset manager i'm going to recommend ditching this and going to uh, a, an add-on called kit ops I'll put a link to where you can get this online in the description box below and also on my website. So you can get this at either at blendergems.com, myjurybench.com, or the description box below. So you're gonna go to your browser. I'm gonna bring my browser up here. You're gonna do a search for kit ops free and you'll see a bunch of, a bunch of things come up. You're gonna see kitops.com. You're gonna see blendermarket.com. Where I want you to go is apps.gumroad.com. And if you click that link, It'll take you to the author, Chip Walters. Um, and here you can see it brings up the kit, the kit ops. Um, this is the free version. There is a professional version, which I believe is $30, and it is well worth it if you're into 3D modeling. However, um, if you're not into 3D modeling, uh, things like game assets or design, uh, design stuff, you might want to skip it and just use the free version for now. So I'm going to come over here, and you can see... It says, uh, name your price. So if you want to make a donation, you can type in whatever you want. This is a free version. Again, the professional version is about $30. And I would recommend that, again, if you're into modeling. And if you're not, just play with this and see if you like it. And if you do, you can always go and upgrade. So um, you can always type in 0.00 and get it for free. You're going to hit uh, purchase. And you can see I've already done this. So I'm going to hit the purchase again. It'll come up. It'll ask you for your email. And if there's a discount code, um, again, that's going to apply to the professional version and not the free. Just type in your email address and press get, and that'll take you to um, this screen here. Your purchase was successful. If you want to create an account, you can uh, type in a password and sign up. You don't necessarily have to. Go and check your email, and in your email will be a link to download Kit Ops free. So I've already done that. It's on my desktop. Um, you can put yours wherever you want. I'm going to get rid of this shape here and i am going to install it now so to install kit ops let's come over to uh, i'm going to come down to preferences i'm going to make my screen just a little bit bigger so we can see what we're doing here interface i'm going to make that two or 1.4 there we go it's a little easier to read especially if you're doing this on a on a tablet okay so you're going to go over to your edit menu once you open blender 2.91 or greater and you're going to come down to preferences in your preferences tab, you're going to come over to add-ons. Now under add-ons, 
you'll see any of the add-ons that you have right now. I've got my user add-ons right here, and I've got the Kit Ops Batch add-on, which I've disabled just temporarily. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and find the Kit Ops Free. So I'm going to hit Install. It's on my desktop, so I'm going to come over to my desktop, and you can see here, Kit Ops Free 2.20.18. You may have this version or a new version, but if it's free, it's okay. You're going to click on that once and hit the install add-on at the bottom. Once that's done, it's going to bring out this, this overlay here for your, your tabs here. On, for, it'll bring up this add-ons tab here. You're going to put a check mark in the kit ops feature. Now, if you've already, and I'm going to open that up here. If you've already uh, downloaded Blender Gems, uh, the library, and expanded it onto one of your hard drives or a location on your hard drive. Um, just remember where that is because you're going to need to reference that location now. So we're going to put a check mark in the kit ops. We're going to open that up. Okay, so with that open, I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so it's easier to read. You can see here, this is the control panel for kit ops. You don't have to be too concerned with most of this right now. Just So just to get you started, what I'm going to do is bring you over to this tab right here, File Pass. You're going to click on File Pass. You'll see there is already one location where uh, files are located, but we don't have to worry ourselves with that. I'll show you those in a minute. What we want to do is hit this little plus button here. So click that once. It's going to say choose a path. So remember, we need to find the location of the Blender Gems library that you unzipped or uncompressed onto your hard drive. So I'm going to click this little folder button and we're going to go find it. It just so happens to be located on one of my other hard drives. So I'm going to open that up. Um, I call this Blender Gems Library, so I'm going to select that. I'm going to come over to Accept at the lower right corner, and it's going to bring this up and just hit Accept one more time. Okay, so Kit Ops is installed, and it is pointing to your Blender's Gem, Blender Gem Library. So I'm going to close up our Preferences tab, and now to get one of the assets onto the screen, it's very simple. We're going to come over to this tab. If you don't see any of these tabs here, you can press the N key with your mouse in the viewport. You can see those tabs go away and come back when you press the N key. So make sure you have all these tabs here. Select Kit Ops. And under Kit Ops, very simple to use. This, this does a lot of things for modeling. So you can see we've got this big red button. That's part of the uh, library that comes with Kit Ops Free. Uh, but what we're going to do here is we're going to hit this little drop down tab right here. And you're going to see that all of the Blender Gems library folders are now located in this panel right here. So if I come down to Bales and I select Bales, you can see my models are there. I can click on those, come over to any one of those I want, select one. You can see it's selected there. And now I can say I want it large, medium, or small. Um, what mode I want to be in, I'm going to leave this in regular. I'm going to select medium so it drops it down to 50%. And then we're going to hit this add insert button. It's as simple as that. You might get this error. It shows up once in a while. It's not important. It mostly pertains to the models, but the model will import correctly. And there you can get started. So if we want to get rid of this and go to another selection of Blender Gems, let's come down to School Rings. And I'm going to select these. I'm going to come over and just find the school ring I want. Let's say I want that one. I'll hit Insert. And again, we get that error, but the ring imports perfectly. So... To modify this ring, I'm just going to rotate this RY90, oops, too far, RY180, and I can press Control A and align the rotation and scale, and there we go. Our ring is ready to start working on. So that's how you would use Kit Ops to gain access from within Blender to the Blender Gems library. I hope this helps. If you have any questions, please leave it in the comment section below, and thank you for your purchase of Blender Gems. Thanks, and take care.